Diabetes is a chronic health condition in which your body struggles to regulate the amount of sugar in your blood. Long-term type 2 diabetes with high blood sugar tends to be associated with poor circulation, reducing oxygen and nutrient supply to the skin. Hyperglycemia also interferes with the body's natural defense mechanism and hobbles its ability to fight infection and inflammation. High blood sugar can also lead to changes in the skin's collagen. This causes changes in the skin's appearance, texture, and ability to heal. It is estimated that around one in every three people with diabetes will develop a skin rash or other skin problems. When diabetes affects the skin, it is a sign that your blood sugar level is too high. This could mean that you have undiagnosed or pre-diabetes. Your diabetes treatment needs to be adjusted. So in today's video, we will discuss 7 diabetes-related skin signs. Make sure to watch the video until the end because we will discuss how to self-care for some of the skin conditions that we are going to discuss. Number 1. Skin Patches Skin patches that are yellow, reddish, or brown are also known as necrobiosis lipoidica. It begins as small, raised, solid bumps that resemble pimples. As the condition progresses, these pimples become bloated, hard patches of skin. You may also notice the following things. The skin around it may have a gleaming, porcelain-like appearance. The skin is irritated and inflamed, and blood vessels can be seen on the skin. Number 2. Hardening, thickening of the skin it can affect the fingers and toes. And digital sclerosis is the medical name for this condition. You will notice tight, waxy skin on the back of your hand. The fingers can be stiff and even become difficult to move. If diabetes has been poorly managed for years, it can feel like you have pebbles in your fingertips. Your skin will be hard and thick, and it can also expand to the forearm and upper arm. Number three. Skin tags. Skin tags are soft, skin-colored growths that hang from the skin. Multiple skin tags may indicate that you have too much insulin in your blood. High levels of insulin cause the skin cells to reproduce rapidly. As a result, skin tags appear on the skin. These growths are most common on the eyelids, underarms, the neck, under the breasts, and groin folds. Number 4 dark skin that feels like velvet. If you have a black or brown patch of velvet skin on the back of your neck, groin, armpit, or elsewhere, it could mean that you have too much insulin in your blood. And this condition is also very common in prediabetes as well. Dark skin is widespread around the necklines. Number 5. Blisters Diabetic blisters might pop up suddenly on your hands, feet, toes, fingers, or sometimes on your legs and forearms. This is dangerous because you can easily hurt your feet by wearing poorly fitted shoes or stepping on something sharp or hot. If you do not take care of your feet properly and continue walking against your blisters or wound, it can develop into an ulcer. Number 6. Infection of the Skin if you are experiencing a lot of yeast infection or any other skin infection, it might indicate that you have an uncontrolled blood sugar level. You will experience hot, swollen skin that is painful. You may also notice an itchy rash, small blisters, and dry skin with white discharge that looks like cottage cheese. An infection can happen anywhere in the body, but most common areas include between your toes, one or more of your nails and your scalp. Number 7. Foot Ulcer High blood sugar levels for a long time damages blood vessels and lead to poor circulation in the body. As a result, limited oxygen and nutrients are supplied to the nerves and skin, which makes it difficult for your body to heal wounds, especially the feet. These open wounds are called diabetic ulcers. Here are the tips we promised at the beginning of this video on taking care of your blisters, small cuts, and rashes. Never attempt to pop or break the blister. Wash the affected area with warm water and mild soap. You can also apply antibacterial ointment to the blister. Cover the area with a gauze pad and use paper tape to cover it. 
change the bandage once a day and wear comfortable shoes. Remember, this video is for educational purpose only. We are not giving you medical advice. You should always consult your doctor if you need any professional opinion. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, then make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification button. Until next time, take care.